kind of sprinkling out right now. But I needed to come out and do a couple of things. And I thought I'd take you along with me and show you some stuff. Got a flower bud coming up with a sunflower. Kind of exciting. And yeah, it's spring fun out here. Wanted to show you. I found this on the post by my gate. That's that swallowtail caterpillar. Um he was pretty sure this is the one that was eaten on my parsley. Yeah, he's uh, pupating there. I thought that was kind of cool. I've got to be careful and shut my gate really careful now. <laughs> and I uh, got a couple of bricks to put this um, green stock planter up a little bit. It was, it's, it was actually on kind of a bump there and it wasn't even so between the bricks and some shims we've evened it out so now when I go to turn it it doesn't have an end sticking up so lots and lots of strawberries on there very exciting I did pick the one that was right this morning but that's just one and I want more um and here the rattlesnake pole beans are starting to sprout um i thought i saw another one somewhere in here i don't see it now but um they're just barely pushing up the ground right now i came over here around the tomatoes and i put I used those for um, some trellising last year. These these wires here, this one, and then this one, and I just kind of fastened them to that old cage to help um, with the tomatoes. And as they get bigger, I'll probably start clipping them to that one. It's just to give it a little bit more support. There are lots of blooms on there. I did come out and trimmed off a bunch of the, the lower branches. And um, I've been uh, getting rid of all the little suckers. Because I just don't want the tomatoes to like get away from me. And suckers were, uh, they're just not something I'm going to deal with this year. Yeah, there's that one there. Another bud on this. This is a chocolate cherry sunflower. And the rain is kind of trying to pick up a little bit. But uh, there's my herb bed. Look at this catnip you guys. Look at that. It's just really beautiful and big. And the oregano is just very happy. As is the thyme. So cool. And then of course the lemon bee balm. I did manage to deadhead the gardenia. Just a lot of maintenance stuff I was doing out here. And let's see, there was one another Cosmo opened and this one is white. Isn't that cool? <laughs> and there is more lavender that has popped up to join the chamomile and the yarrow i was worried about just having the one lavender in there but i see uh oh four or five of them now i only see the one comfrey still um so i may end up planting more of it we'll have to see what happens but yeah it's rain starting to pick up there's a bud on the um bachelor button that one marigold is just huge. And there's a bud over here on this um, calendula. Not sure if you can see that. Yeah, there it is right there. 
okra's trying to be very happy over there. But yeah, I'm going to have to go in because the rain's really starting to pick up. And it's supposed to do this most of the day and on into the night. So I've got a, I've got a water jug I have to fill up because I don't have running water in my house. So uh, the water from my rain barrel helps with uh, cleaning and stuff like that. I don't drink it. I drink other water that I buy because that's just what I have to do. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to end this and and I'm going to fill up my water jug. I'm going to go in before I get too wet. I'll talk to y'all later.